Alright, this is the Great Nuke Food bringing you episode of Thrones. You know what I'm saying? Game of Thrones, episode 5. I believe it's called A Nest of Vipers. That should be dope. I imagine that means you're going to spend some time. Something important is going to happen in uh, this place. You know what I mean? Um, King's Landing. That's the area that's been referred to as a uh, nest of vipers in the past. We might even meet the Red Viper. Oh no, that one seems slightly unlikely though. I don't think they're gonna bring him in for voice work for like. So you could talk shit for like two seconds and then leave. Possible. Previously on Game of Thrones. You'd help the Second Sons. Guide them into Marine. I can't, Asher. This could be our only chance. Get them into the city, help them liberate Marine, and I will see that you are rewarded. You think you're gonna reason with a wildling? No, I'm, uh, I'm a friend. This is my sister, Sylvie. I have to get in there, Sarah. Lord Whitehill is up to something. He's conspiring against my family. And someone in there is helping him. Someone there is her! Firing cell swords. Hundreds of them. What? He's building an army for Lord Whitehill, big enough to march against Ironrath. Thalia, I may be leaving I you forgot here that with point. Find out who he is. Oh, I'm gonna play Talia? Rodri! Oh. I'm told I you're a man this. who can't be broken. I've decided to come see for myself. Well, we're fucked. That's what's up. Forgot about him. As we all know, we can't kill this fool. He's still on the show. I was just telling your sister. He's in shock. Father's been looking to make a match for me. And Talia's been such good company. Think she likes me? Just dies more quickly. We could be a family, Lord Forrester. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Your mother may need some convincing. You killed our brother. I've killed many brothers, sisters too. But let's put our happy day to the side for a moment. Walk with me. Oh, you won't need your sword. Not where we're going. I'm not going without my sword. I'm afraid you are. Here, I'll help you. <laughs> you fucking chump, you let him just jack you like that? There. <sighs> Doesn't that feel better? Oh, you're coming too. This is Lord's business, not a child's. I say she comes. I don't trust her with my men. Ramsey Snow, you dick! And now, of course, he's gonna cut away, leaving us in suspense. Oh, never mind. How fares your father, Lord Bolton? Better than yours. <laughs> Polite of you to ask. 
I loved playing in the woods when I was your age. Still do? So many places to hide. I've gotten very good at finding people. Roderick? It's all right, Talia. That reminds me. Where's Griff? I expected to be greeted by him on my arrival. Bit of a disappointment to have to show myself in. And here I had such high hopes, Ludson. Griff and his men are under guard. They have no place here. They do if I say they do. Oh, I really hope things might be different with you. I hoped we could be friends. After all, I was generous. I've allowed you to keep half your forest. Your livelihood. Yet you went behind my back and called in the Glenmores. I'm not sure how you managed that. The Glenmores have sworn their loyalty to my father. The Glenmores came to us. We never asked for their help. Oh? Perhaps I need to have a word with Lord Glenmore. Well, I'm certainly glad we've sorted this out. Thank you for being so forthcoming. But there's still a price. Ah. Here we are. Arthur! Roderick! You disobeyed me. You disrespect me. Where's all my fucking dudes, yo? Being punked Someone like this by Boltons? You didn't think it would be you, did you? Your damaged goods. Someone else's leftovers. No one has to pay. Let's just keep talking. I'm bored of talking. <laughs> no! Stop! <laughs> Look at what you've done. I hope it was worth it. Is it worth it, Arthur? Please, stop! Please, please! Talia, don't look away. No! It's very important you see what comes of disobedience. Roderick, make him stop! Please, do something! You pay for this, Ramsey! Look at him, Talia. See what your brother ever learn otherwise. <laughs> mercy, have mercy! Mercy, my lord! Did Roderick show mercy to Griff? This is his fault. I did, actually. I didn't smoke his ass. That's a lot of blood. <laughs> You're right. This is my fault. I told you, Talia. All lads fainted. Let's give him a minute. <laughs> you want to kill me, don't you? Release him. Go on. Prove how strong you are. Do it for Ethan. No, Roderick. He's toying with you. Do it. Come on, Roderick. Your little brother had bigger balls than you. I came here to kill you, but now I realize it might be far more entertaining to watch Lud tear you to pieces. I never want to come back to this fucking shit stain of a hold fast. I have better things to do than to play wet nurse to you and Lud. So you'll settle this on your own. Last house standing wins. Otherwise, I'll kill you both and be done with it. House Forester will win this fight. You're very confident for a man with no army and half a face. And one more thing. <laughs> oh, no! No! Oh, can't leave a job half finished. Ah, ready the horses. Not sure you'll have much luck finding other allies. Oh my gosh. That's pretty gory.
at the wall? Why aren't we north of the wall? I guess they do that, right? When they were north of the wall, they shield the wall. So sorry. Why, after all we've been through, must the gods continue to shit on this house? What have we ever done to them? Follow the Starks? Obey the rule of law? Ramsay Snow is a bloody savage. He shames the entire North. Yet we're bound by law to obey him. I can't believe it's fucking come to this! The Glenmore Guard are gone. Ordered home by Ramsay. So I'm much for having pussies. allies. Ramsay says he's not taking sides anymore. He means to let the strongest house survive. I intend that to be yours, Royland. You'll get no argument from me. For how do we bloody fight them? We just don't have the numbers. Not yet, anyway. And they still have Ryan. Right now, everything depends on Asher. Once he and Malcolm bring us more fighting men, then Where is he? <laughs> Let me through! Elena. Roderick, tell me where he... Choices. But he trusted me. He always has. I was there the day he learned to hold a bow. He was so nervous, the father called him Quiver. And now to die like this, tortured, mutilated. Ramsay Snow did this. He's a madman. Ramsay was here because of you, Roderick. If we hadn't been your allies. Elena. I'm sorry. Oh, God. Oh, Let's get you someplace, Bob. <laughs> How do I do this, Roderick? How do I keep going? 
Where do I find the strength? Know that we'll have our justice someday. Justice won't bring my brother back. You've been such a friend to me, Roderick. Right from the very beginning. I should try to get some sleep. I'm not sure I'll be able to. But I don't know what else to do. You're not alone, Alina. I'm here for you, whatever you need. Thank you, Roderick. Hug. Clipping through the shirt. you are. I haven't seen you since the coronation feast. How many ships do you suppose it takes to move an army? Ships? Why in the world would you... Never mind. Mira, I'll be honest. I took an enormous risk, defying Marjorie to get you into that feast, and you thanked me by making a scene with Lord Andros in front of everybody. Marjorie saw, of course, and she knew exactly how you got there. Andros was the one doing the yelling. You can't blame me for his poor manners. But he was yelling at you. And it's not the first time you've gotten yourself into trouble lately. Which is why it's not safe for me to be around you anymore. What? Mira, you're not the girl I knew at Highgarden. She'd never be so reckless. And now that Garibald and I are discussing marriage, I just can't risk being associated with you. Uh oh, it's time to blackmail this bitch, yo. You know how much I need this marriage. I won't do anything to jeopardize it. If you abandon me, who'll be there when you need someone? I don't know. Garibald, I suppose. I'm sorry, Mira. Why can't I blackmail this bitch? Am. Is it worth it, at least, sacrificing so much for your family? Of course it was worth it. They're my family. And they're very lucky to have you. Be very Better go before she sees me. She already Here are Forrester. Yo, you fools better step off, yo. Can I help you? You need to come with me. I don't need to do shit, son. Now. Why would step I? Step off. Don't make this difficult. Uh... I'm in the north. No. I thought you'd be happier. I'm glad he's dead. Felt good plunging the knife in at least. But it doesn't feel like I expected. I thought I'd feel lighter. Or something. No matter what happens, I'll have your back. Always. And I yours, little brother. But we should never have come here. This city. It only holds pain for me, Yasha. I was hoping to bury it all with Dezor's corpse. I can't imagine what it must have been. Like. Please, I don't want to talk about it again. Yasha, you're back. <laughs> Uncle. Uncle. Let's collect our second sons and get out of here. If you did as you were told, Daenerys should deliver. Daenerys, huh? First names with the Queen now, are we? Yo, man, I got mad skills, yo. Your Grace, my nephew has returned from his mission. It seems you played your part in the taking of Marine, Asher Forrester. Did you run into any trouble? Reports from the battle are muddled. 
Perhaps you can clear them up. Well, my time is short. No battle is without difficulty, Your Grace. But we fulfilled your orders. All of them? I heard rumors of an incident in the city. Do you know anything about it? Your Grace, we encountered the slave master okay. Tizorzo Raza on the way to the signal tower. I regret that he lost his life. Oh, don't fucking... You admit it, then? The punishment for defying a queen is death. And yet, do you come to me for a reward? Why should I let this pass? Don't you dare. What do you have to say for yourself? Don't. I'm waiting. It was the heat of battle. A soldier must keep his head in a fight. You disobeyed me. You disappoint me, Forrester. I will not be giving you my second son. What? But Your Grace, the mission was a success. What did I tell you? She was never going to help us. You promised me Croft and his second sons. And you made me promises you did not keep. A new day is born in Marine. The slaves have thrown off their collars. There must be a few cutthroats who would fight for the likes of you. Now get out. I'm terribly sorry, Your Grace. You have nothing you to apologize for, Malcolm. I have other plans for you. Plans for me, Your Grace? Plans that will help House Forrester, I hope. I would like you to stay and serve me. I have a task for you. Your Grace, I... I am humbled. But I owe my allegiance to my family. And they will be grateful for the Targaryen alliance you've helped forge. I am honored you would ask me. Might I discuss it with my nephew first? Do so. But let me know your answer soon. You'd seriously consider staying in Essos? I'm not sure. This is all rather sudden. If she does come to Westeros, we'd want Daenerys Targaryen on our side. And now you've angered her, she may need some convincing. It's worth thinking about, you have to admit. You're right, Uncle. The Mother of Dragons would make a powerful ally. If she succeeds in taking the Iron Throne, she'll be the only ally we need. But whatever comes of this, we still need men who will fight for us now. The Queen thought we might find them here, among the newly freed. Queen's a bitch! <sighs> the little Queen is right. Marine holds plenty of killers, and I know the worst. So what are we waiting for? Let's go get them! I don't know, Asher. They're not like us. To them, killing is a sport. It's fun. Let them have fun with Then they are like us. Show. As long as they kill them, I don't care. Don't say I didn't warn you. I must talk further with the Queen. Don't get yourselves killed. So, where exactly are we going? Now, these fighters used to be slaves. If I had to guess, I'd say they'll be trying to live like masters. It's white, yo. Do you dye it with snow? You're freezing. Yeah, don't worry about it. Someone has to keep watch. <sighs> oh. It's getting worse, isn't it? We're only about a few days out from the Atla River. Yeah, we can try to find the North Grove. Uh, 
Right, Sylvie. We're not going north. We're going south. To join Mance. And the rest of the Free Folk. But, look... That was always the plan, Cotter. I can't go south. The Night's Watch will have my head. Better than losing it to a White Walker. Sylvie, he's come a long way. He knows what he's doing. Does he now? Tell me then. How did my brother get that gash in his arm? Is your people You dressed yo? his wound up well enough. But why'd he get hurt in the first place? What does that have to do with the... Hush, Cotter! I'm asking Fishface here. Sylvie! Don't Sylvie me. Some wildlings. Uh, free folk. Uh, mistook Cotter for a crow. Can't imagine why. We tried to reason with them and... Well... Well, things got out of hand. Out of hand? From the look of him, he was nearly killed? Point is... You don't belong out here. Sylvie, I've known Gadid a while now. He may not be one of us, but I trust him. I've been waiting months for you, Cotter. And when you finally come home, Where you are. it's with some crow who can barely build a fire. No, we don't need to die for him. Me neither. Fucking North Grove isn't even real. And if it is, it's probably full of wolves and more wildies. Fens, probably. Those are the cannibal ones. Finn, will you c Just piss off! Some leader you turned out to be. Where is this coming from? You dick! Make me so mad. You should listen to him. The further north you go, the more likely you'll never come back. It's just not worth it. Once Cotter's fit to travel, we head south. With or without you, Garrod. Sylvie. You need to rest. And we'll be wanting something to eat. I won't go far. Oh, don't be angry, Garrod. This isn't what it looks like. I can explain. Did you know she'd refuse to go north? I swear. I didn't. I thought she could help. Sylvie knows these woods better than I do. If anyone can find the North Grove, it's her. And besides, I couldn't just leave her. I won't do that. Not again. Then convince her to go with us. She's your sister. Well, maybe she's right. Maybe you don't belong up here. You don't mean that. So that's it. I can't head north without a guide. I go where she goes. I'm sorry, Garrett. God damn it, you fucking dickhead. You just make me so mad. Where's Finn? Finn? I'm gonna beat the shit out of you too. What does she have in here? She have some shit I can steal? I wonder why she doesn't wear it. Oh, this is that stuff Cotter was drinking. Wonder if she's ever seen an ice spider. Whew. Hope not. What are you doing over here? There's a 